Hello everyone. Don't we all love building dashboards? Dashboards allow us to present complex data in an easy to digest way. It allows us to do real time monitoring and make informed decisions. Me along with my colleague built one such dashboard to track vaccination progress of priority African countries for WHO Afro unit. The US CDC also supported us for this dashboard. They ensured the validity of the data and made sure that the numbers were correct and made sense. We have data for around 20 priority countries which is updated on a weekly basis. The country representatives have access to a separate portal where they fill in the data for their respective country for each week. This data then goes through data validation and data cleaning process before coming to the dashboard. The goal of the dashboard is to be a one stop place to know how things are progressing regarding vaccination in those priority countries. How far are we from achieving the vaccination of target population, the priority groups, information about mass campaigns being carried out in the past and the ones that are coming up in the future, resources that are deployed in the country for smooth functioning of vaccination rollout and many such other information. Using this dashboard, country managers or any person in fact can review the situation in the respective country. They can take action based upon that. For example, if a specific country requires more vaccination doses than what has been administered to them to reach the target population, then this decision can be taken using the dashboard. Allocation of resources can be tracked and measured using the dashboard. So now after this brief explanation about the usage of the dashboard, I would like to share my screen and show you how this dashboard works, what are the packages that we have used and uh, all the other technical stuff. So when you come on the dashboard, this is the first thing that you see. Let's start with the first page that is this landing page. The pop-up that you see uses Cicerone package. It is used to give you a general tour of the web page. Here what we want the user is to focus on this specific action button that is highlighted and which gives you the tour of the dashboard. It explains in brief how to use the dashboard and which information is stored where. So if you click on this tour button, it would then create a pop-up message which is a link to a YouTube video which demonstrates how exactly this dashboard works and the information which is present on this dashboard. Coming to the dashboard, it has general statistics about the priority countries addressed in the dashboard. The first bar chart that you see here shows you the national deployment and vaccination plan for COVID-19 vaccines, funding secured by each country. We have another bar chart which shows you the percentage of people vaccinated. Next, if you scroll down below, you'll see you'll find the map of the African continent that has priority countries highlighted. These are the countries that we have focused on in this dashboard. When you click on any interested country, it shows a pop-up with information about that country. This is to provide you a quick overview of the countries without digging in deep in the dashboard. So if you want to have a general overview of uh, the particular country, what are like key statistics of that country, then it is very easy to get it from this specific map. You can click on any country and it has and it has some statistics about that specific country. Next to the map, we have vaccination coverage by country. For better visualization, the countries are divided in two sections. One where the percentage of fully vaccinated people is about 10% and other one where the percentage of people fully vaccinated is below 10%. This shows the information about full uh, as well as partial vaccination status. About this dashboard section explains which data comes from where along with the date when the data was updated so that users of this dashboard has an idea when they are looking at the numbers. If you scroll above at the top of the dashboard, you will see that there is a drop down menu where you can select the country. The initial landing page, the one that we are seeing right now, is not impacted by this particular drop down, but all the other tabs, for example, COVID-19 vaccination at glance, COVID-19 vaccination strategies, etc. are all impacted and are all considered by this drop down.
So let's select a random country for example. We are going to select Mozambique. Now let's quickly go through all the tab sets that we have in this dashboard. So the first one is vaccination at a glance. Vaccination at a glance sections gives you some key statistics about the country that we have selected. You will find some value boxes that show stats about the country like cumulative doses received, doses administered, number of days since vaccination started, percent of people fully vaccinated, percent of people who are vaccinated by at least one dose and so on. Now moving on to the next tab we have vaccination strategies. Under vaccination strategies we have three items priority groups, vaccination sites and vaccination schedules. Let's go through them one by one. Starting with priority groups. We have information about the priority groups targeted for vaccination as per NDVP. It has information about total target population and its percentage. The table below gives the information about different priority groups and if they are targeted by the selected country or not. What is their population size and how much percent of total population it represents. Vaccination sites show a map of the country selected. This map shows the country divided into different regions. Every region is colored based on the number of vaccination sites in that region per million of the population as present. Color is given based on that number. When you click on a region, it gives you its name, total sites for that region and sites per million of the population. The same information can be found using the table below. We are using leaflet to show this map. Vaccination schedule is simple DT table which provides information on the main policy in place for the selected country. Moving on, vaccination campaigns as the name suggests provides information about the campaigns carried out in the selected country since the beginning of COVID-19 vaccination. Total doses administered for this particular campaign, number of people targeted for the campaign and some more information. The next section provides information on vaccine supply and administration starting by doses received followed by doses administered. In this subsection of doses received, there are some statistics on total doses received for the country selected, additional doses needed to reach 70% of the coverage and the percentage of doses received over needed. Below we have two donut charts which shows the proportion of doses by manufacturer and by source. It shows them in actual numbers as well as percentage overall. To differentiate every manufacturer and source are shown in different colors. For doses administration section, there are two bar graphs. One is the distribution of cumulative doses administered per month and the other one is showing you only the doses administered per month. The first one is cumulative, the second one is actual doses. The next section provide updates on vaccination coverage. As in other sections, we have some value boxes here as well showing key statistics. Apart from that, we have two graphs which is showing you vaccination coverage for each state or region or province in that country. The below graph shows you the progress of partial and fully vaccinated doses on monthly basis. If you see, the goal here is to reduce this difference which is there. We want everyone to be fully vaccinated. The above line is for uh, partially vaccinated people and the below one is for fully vaccinated people. The next section is about partners and resources with four subsections in them. Starting with funding, as the name suggests, it gives information about the cost of the NDVP as well as funds secured from the government and partners as well as the percent of funds secured. Next one contains a table providing the list of partners who are supporting COVID vaccination and type of support they are providing. The third subsection provides information about human resource deployed in the country by partners and the type of expertise that they have. Finally, the last subsection provides a table about the gaps in the human resources by type of expertise. If you need an expert in any field, you can fill in that information here so that the concerned authority can have a look at it and arrange for an expert for your country specifically. In the end, we have provided a summary pop-up 
that shows a summary about the country selected. It kind of summarizes the complete dashboard for the country. If needed, the summary can also be downloaded as an HTML which can be opened on any browser. So if you don't have time to go through each section one by one and find the numbers that you need, with the help of this summary option, you can quickly get an overview of the country that you have selected. It gives you a complete picture overall of the country. One important feature that this dashboard also contains is you can select your language. Most of the countries that we have in this dashboard are French speaking. So we have provided two options for the user. So one is English and the other one is French. We are using the shiny i18n package from Epsilon which makes it very easy to switch between the languages. This feature really helped us to reach out to more users and they started utilizing the dashboard for their day-to-day -day operations. Finally, I would like to thank Epsilon for giving me an opportunity to present this dashboard to you all and thank you everyone for watching.